Welcome back, my YouTube family! Yes! Okay, you guys, my kings and queens, welcome back to the kingdom! Happy New Year! I hope you guys had a beautiful, safe, happy New Year's. I hope you guys brought it, in, brought it in with people that you loved. I know I did, honey. We went to the club, honey. And, honey, we turned up. <laughs> pick the winner of this special order um i will be shipping it out um after i do the winners of all the other items the two other birkins the belts the wallet the bag charms again you guys have up until the 10th to be in the drawing um on the 11th is when i will actually pick the names i will announce you guys privately um the winners on my Instagram page. I will ask you guys if it is okay to um, share with you, share with the kingdom, the kings and queens in the kingdom, um, the winners. Um, if you guys want to keep it private, I totally understand. As you guys know, after what happened with me um, and Hermes and how dangerous um, and how they put my life and family's life at risk. I will never jeopardize your safety. I will never jeopardize your privacy. If you want to resume your privacy, you can do that. Um, don't feel like you're obligated to say like, oh, Drew, you could tell, uh, oh, Drew, you could say my Instagram handle, whatever, because yes, those little terrorists, especially this girl, Our little posse of friends will probably come after you if they know that I've given you something. But also, you guys might want to unbox it on your channel to make it seem like, you know, you bought it from a store, you got it from whatever. And that's totally fine. Do whatever you want. You've earned the bag. You've done what you need to do to be in the drawing. Whatever you choose to do with it, it is your property now. I don't care. I just wish you guys would have told me ahead of time that there's like some little random sampling thing that I could do online that would basically you know, draw the name for me. I literally wrote everyone's name out by hand. I don't know why, I don't know why but one of my videos was banned in 86 countries, but basically I've put everyone's name handwritten on here, handwritten here, everyone's Instagram handle that asked me to put them in the giveaway. Basically, I cut you know, I cut it up in rows and cut it across, cut it across. Then basically everyone's name is folded up and put in this. This is for everything, the giveaway in my video. This is for the red and black Birkin, 156 people. Um, so yeah, like I said, this once I draw the winner of this, they could put into this. Everybody could put into this, and then that's for everything: the wallet, the belts, the charms, and all the two other Birkins. So yeah, if your name is not on here, it's because it's already in here. So please limit the DMs because I have so many other people to get to. So don't say, I don't see my name, I don't see my name, I don't see my name. address and your information um now everybody else is pouring into this bucket ooh, 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 with a lot more names and we will do the drawing on the 10th for sure for the gray birkin there's another like 
fuchsia, um, pinky, orangish Birkin um, with twillies. The wallet, the Hermes belts, the bag charms, and all that on the 10th. So, you guys have time to enter by the 10th. Oh my gosh. But best believe the next giveaway will be exotic items. So we gonna be stepping our game up, honey. We gonna be doing basics. We gonna be a part of the exotic club. The next giveaway will be at 15,000 subscribers. I'm so honored that I gained about 700 subscribers in about, what, like five days? Seven days. Um, I'm so honored that you guys are a part of this kingdom. Because to keep it real, this kingdom will be nothing without the kings and the queens. Now I am the, the keeper of the realm. You know, some little Game of Thrones stuff. And honey, I gotta block and banish some of these hoes and these peasants that are so negative and evil. It's like, why do you even come to this gracious place full of the most amazing people on earth to just spew your negativity? Like who asked you your a negative opinion? Who asked you losers to come? Who asked you evil, mean, sick, twisted, disgusting people to even be a part of this? If you don't like me, and if you don't like the kings and queens a part of this kingdom, your peasant ass need to go somewhere. Bye, boo. And if you don't go voluntarily, I will do it involuntarily and block your ass, okay? Kings and queens of the kingdom, I have to say in all seriousness, I am so grateful of the family that we have built. I got some of the most amazing, heartfelt messages alone from the giveaway, completely separate of somebody asking me, oh, can you give me something? Oh, can I have something? Can you give me? This young lady, beautiful, independent young lady is going through a very hard time and she just wanted to speak and have some counseling and, and just, just have a human to human interaction. Hey dear, um, thank you for responding my message. I really appreciate it. Um, you mean a lot to me. Um, I don't know why I share you, but uh, this is going to be the last time I'm going to cry, okay? Um, I feel like your personality is positive, and then I just need a positive uh, reply. Uh, thank you. Uh, um, I'm okay, Mama. <laughs> By the way, that's my daughter. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, she's about to turn, too. But thank you. Thank you so much for your positive response. I really appreciate it, and I'm going to keep my hands up and working on myself and working on my baby just keep praying for me if you can it's been like it's been like a hard and then a miserable year 2019 but i'm not saying that you know it's bad because i'm so lucky that my baby should get with me I mean, this with you um but it means a lot to me and thank you thank you so much and this is gonna be the last time i'm crying okay and i thank god for this young lady because she has shown me this is why I do YouTube is to have real interactions with real people. To know that I am being welcomed into your homes, welcomed into your cars, welcomed into your jobs, and to be able to entertain you for a little bit of time, to take your mind away from your cheating boyfriend, your your sickness, your terminal illness, you, you know, not being able to pay your rent, um, financial problems, whatever the problems are, whatever the issues, or joyous occasions, being to have me be a part of joyous occasions, to know that I can entertain you, to know that I can uplift you, to know that I can support you through this screen. I'm honored. And the fact that you guys trust me to share with me deep issues is amazing and one thing i gotta say if you guys look at our channel our comments surpass all these other youtubers that have triple quadruple way more way more subscribers than me they don't have anywhere near as many comments 
as I have in my videos. They don't have anywhere near the engagement between you and I like we do. So you guys, I'm grateful for that engagement. That is the biggest payoff to me than anything else. I'm going to call her Golden Goddess. You know who you are. Um, Golden Goddess, I love you. Um, you don't even know how much you touched me. And I hope the prayer that I sent you really resonates with you and really lets you know that I have you and God has you. You guys, no matter what your religion is, no matter who you pray to, if you guys need prayer, if you guys need someone to talk to, if you guys need have questions, if you guys need advice, hit me up in the DMs. We can keep it private. We don't have to expose. We don't have to tell. I'm not that kind of person, you know? But I would love to pray with you. I would love to send prayers to you. I would love to send blessings to you. I would love to... I would love to send confident, secure affirmations to you and to know that we're doing this together. We're not in this life alone. So now we need to get to the basis of this video. And the basis of this video is what is the best leather? Because I've been saving y'all so much money, because I've been able to get y'all your dream bags without these, this stupid bull crap facade y'all this is just smoke and mirrors let's keep it real birkins are basic there's nothing outstandingly gorgeous there's no crazy aerodynamics there's no amazing crazy craftsmanship yeah the bag is handmade but there's a lot of souvenirs that when you go over to countries that last even longer than these there's things even cheaper than this that have lasted longer things that are handmade when you go traveling. So it's just like, let's just cut the shit. Like, let's, can we just be, can we just be real? Can we just be honest? Nobody, the Golden Globes just passed, right? Nobody on the best dressed list was caught dead in Hermes. Let's keep it honest. Hermes is boring. Hermes is dead. Hermes is plain. The only thing is people want to say, rich. I'm rich. I can dress atrocious. I can look ugly, but I got a broken bag. I can dress real cheap looking with Gucci, 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 label, 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 but I got a broken. I got a Birkin, so you can't say nothing. That's all a Birkin is. I look at these influencers, and I'm just like, influencer? How are you influenced when you look so basic? Birkins, Hermes is basic. Nobody ever won best dress wearing Hermes. Nobody is ever in the red carpets. Nobody's ever on, you know, the, Go the Golden Globes, Oscar, Met Gala, uh, SAG Awards, uh, CFD uh, Fashion Awards. Nobody's ever best dressed on a red carpet wearing anything Hermes. Hermes is basic. It's super basic. It's only for the status and the pretentiousness that it's tied to. As far as looking good and as far as being a true fashion symbol, a Birkin is not that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not on the red carpet, Hermes. Nobody's wearing you and looking good like that, Hermes. It's only because of the pretentious, stupid, smoke and mirrors and gimmicks and schemes that that company does that people like. People like to feel suppressed. People like to feel like I've gone above and beyond to prove myself to somebody who's really irrelevant. <laughs> Me, I'm not a peasant. I'm not going to beg my kings and queens, especially after I didn't gave them, honey, I didn't gave them the source to where they can get what they want, when they want, how they want, without begging and saving money. True kings and queens. You know, we, we get it. We over it. But the peasants that are part of this disgusting Hermes community, I feel bad. Y'all not even peasants. Y'all slaves. I feel bad for y'all slaves. Like, y'all, like, slavery was, like, 200 years ago. Like, girl, 
Why do you want to be a slave? Do you know what a slave is? Somebody that does a whole bunch of work and don't get paid. You do what master say to do, honey. You do what master say to do. Oh, let me go call people out. Let me go make fun of people. Let me go get their address. Let me go publish their stuff. But they don't care about you. You are the slave. You the one doing all the work, all the research, all the hard labor, all that. Investigating all the CIA stuff and not getting a dollar, slave. You're a poor slave. But the kings and queens are part of this kingdom, honey. The kings and queens are part of this kingdom. We're not begging. We're not pleading. We get what we want, when we want, and fast shipping, and that's it. Done. Sorry. Bye, slaves. End slavery 2020, y'all. We need to end slavery. It's not cyberbullying. They're cyber slaves. They are cyber slaves not getting paid a dollar to make fun of no damn body. Okay, not getting a dollar to expose nobody. Okay, you poor little slaves. I was scrolling through the little rebag, girl. Honey, seeing what the rebag gave, and they had some little Birkins and things over there. And I was like, okay, mm, you know, whatever. Let me check it out. Girl, do you know I checked out this Kelly? Now, look, the Kelly is in mint condition. The Kelly is not de uh, discolored. There's no scratching. The hardware was intact. Everything was good. You cannot say, oh, the owner didn't take care of the bag, the owner, whatever. But look at this. So The stitching on this bag came undone. Please tell me where there was scratching that was abnormal, there was abnormal wear and tear, where there was neglect or anything with that bag. There's no discoloration, there's no scratching. The stitching come undone on this authentic piece, so that rebag. It's not rebag's fault, you know? It's not the owner's fault. Hermes's quality is subpar. The gold be coming off, all this stuff. Do your research about how all these brands, Hermes, everybody, all these brands have lost their sense of true luxury. And yes, when Hermes start reproducing bags, reconstruction bags, and, 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 and sending their stuff to China, yes, go to their YouTube page, sending their stuff to China, boo-boo. What do you think? Because I'm able to save you guys my name, because you guys keep asking me questions with my guy and um, what bags to get, I'm gonna show you guys the best leathers for the best models for your life. But let's keep it real. What really irritates the crap out of me is when all these little YouTubers wanna tell you, oh, Togo's the best. Togo's the least scratch resistant. Togo is the best leather. Oh, Togo, 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 Togo. You got an entry level, basic, boring bag. Rolls Royce got an entry level. Bugatti got an entry level. Mercedes, Chrysler, Toyota, everybody got an entry level. I'm sorry, but your Togo bag is a very entry level bag, boo-boo. How can you say what's the best leather when you don't own all the leathers? I've owned them all. <laughs> Them all, Epsons, Togos, Lizards, Exotics, Crocs, Ostriches, I've earned, I've owned them all. I'm qualified to tell you of all the leathers because I've experienced them all. I've experienced the most rarest bags there are. The Grand Mariage. Have you guys even held a Grand Mariage in your life? Have you guys ever held a so black in your life? <sighs>film like this facing the bags just so you guys can see in detail what I'm talking about. By far, Lizard is the most durable, strongest, scratch resistant leather that most fashion house produces. I'm going to start off with the Kelly since I have fewer Kellys. The way you can tell by durability 
and structure and scratch resistant and all that kind of stuff is simply based on looking at the singles. So right here we have three different leathers. We have the ombre lizard on the far left, the Epson leather in the middle, and the Togo at the end. So yes, we have two Sivier's and two Retorn, so you may think that has an effect with durability, whatever, no. The telltale with durability with these Kellys is the Sangles. My Ombre Lizard bag has been my everyday bag. And as you can see, the Sangles hang down the least on the Ombre Lizard, a little bit more on the Epson, and a lot more on the Togo. So, based on use, based on where you could obviously see that the Ombre Lizard by far has the less loss of structure. So there you go. That, that is one of the most toughest skins there is. Also, the Lizard skin is just so, it's like a body of armor. It is so structured. You can't see any scratches. You wouldn't be able to tell it scratches just because of the skin. Also, if we look at the corner wear, you really can't see any wear on the corners. You can't see any rubbing off or whatever or discoloration. And as we can see here, there is some wear on the Togo leather. There definitely is wear on the Togo. This is basically like a tank. Now, Epson, it is a little bit more structured than Togo leather is. Um, but to me, I feel like Togo leather is more durable as far as taking on scratches and easier to have fixed. Because when Epson scratches, you see this pattern? So if I do a line across this way, like if I did a scratch across this way, you would see that scratch so easily because of this pattern. And the thing is, is that even if you got it retouched, like with paint, that scratch across would just be so visible. You're going to see that scuff mark. And even if you repaint it, that scuff mark is going to be there because the pattern has worn down. Epson is definitely prone to scratch a lot easier than Togo leather or Brassured or... Clement's leather. So Epson should only be done in Cellier's compared to Retorn. If you have a uh, Epson leather, structured leather in a relaxed style, it will look very awkward once it wears. So after the use, after the wear, after you put your phones in the front pockets, after it dis-shapes, it's going to look very crinkly, hard, and almost look fake. So as you see, the lizard completely, silhou the silhouette of the lizard is perfect. The silhouette of the Epson is perfect. Now the silhouette of the Retorn, I mean of the Retorn with Togo is just not as sophisticated as you can see. Structured, structured, beautiful silhouettes and are just more, mm, just a rounded, pudgier kind of situation. Also with lizard, if you overstuff it, like you see this, I'm actually pushing really hard. It doesn't look weird. It still is gonna keep its shape. It's not gonna look like you could see the actual shape of the item, you know, that you're sticking, that you're overstuffing. If I were to overstuff the Epson, the Epson definitely, see, you could see my finger a lot more. You can see the tip of my finger a lot more. Stick in my, the tip of my finger, you can't see the tip of my finger. The tip of my finger is not easily shown. It's not easily, uh, you can't easily see it. So as you see right there, lizard is definitely more structured. It's going to keep it safe. It's definitely more tight. Um, it's definitely, you know, better than any other leather. Because like I said here, you can see the tip. You can see the tip of my finger.
easily. The only leather that I would say after Lizard that is the second most durable is Ostrich. As far as keeping its shape, keeping its structure, and being a durable, pretty much scratch-resistant leather. The only thing with Ostrich is that it patinas like Louis Vuitton. So when you put your hands on Ostrich a lot, especially with lighter colors, you will definitely see a patina. You have to be very careful with oils. If you grab a singles a lot, you're going to see that these areas start to get darker. <music> get black or dark grays it won't show up as much as far as keeping its structure you can see an ostrich bag that's 30 40 years old and they keep it it keeps its shape Hermes ostrich um the little pimples that stick out are ironed in so when they iron the leather it makes it more durable um crocodile would be the third most durable leather um, out of all the leathers, the matte Crocs tend to slouch more than the glazed Crocs do. But the issue with glazed Crocs is once they start to get older, and especially like in these areas of the Crocs, the glazed Crocs, they start to crack because the glazing um, is not meant to be relaxed. So once it starts to wear a lot, you'll see a lot of cracking um, with the areas that bend more with Crocs. I would say Epson is the least durable when it comes to scratch resistant, but Epson is going to keep its shape more than the other calfskin bags. Let's talk about the Lizard. So, Ombre Lizard is a natural monitor lizard. So they don't need to dye this skin. And whenever you get skins that aren't dyed, they actually have the potential to patina. So as you can see with the flash, it's kind of hard to tell. But in this area, it's more dark because I always use my thumb to pull up, you know, here. I don't really pull up from the sides because I don't want the sides to bend out or get deformed. So I just always grab from the middle. But you can kind of see there's a lot of oils. There's like a dark area here because of the oil stains. Also, when it comes to lizard bags, if you're storing your bag and it's in the sun, being that this single comes across here, there's going to be a lighter area. If you, base is going to be like a tan line, basically. When it comes to your Kellys, I tend to store them like this. Just so that a tan line isn't exposed. Also, with um, the handle, it's gonna patina more. As you see right here, it's very, very white, but then it starts to get more yellow because this is where, you know, the oils are mostly trapped because it's where I grab the bag the most. This is a dyed leather. I use this bag all the time, but you can see you can't really tell any patina because this skin has been dyed. This skin is not in its natural form. As you can see, I don't really have problems with darkening of my single. A dyed lizard skin is going to keep its color a lot more than a natural skin. So when you guys are buying your bags, keep that in mind. And if I were you, if I could redo this, I would get this hardware and gold hardware because the white areas are going to yellow and brown. And I just feel with yellowy type of tones and brown type of tones, it just looks so much better with gold hardware. You know, I bought it thinking like, okay, it's gonna keep its color like this, but no, it will actually yellow. So silver hardware with the yellow just won't look as appeasing to me as if I had it in gold hardware. So if you guys are gonna get the ombre laser, I would definitely get it in gold hardware because in time it will yellow and you can't get that yellow one out. Now let's move on to the Birkin section. You guys know I got this bag in April. This is my every night, like, you know, going out type of bag and as you guys can see look at the sangle super low super low um not as much and super tight this bag has had this bag has had way more wear than any of the other birkins as you can see 
This this is Togo. Well, I'm not really sure because this one has way bigger grains. So I think it's more Clemency. And this one is more Togo because the grains are not as big. As you guys can see, big grains and really kind of like pebbly grains. As you can see, the sangles are super hanging compared to this one, which I mean, I think it's Togo as well. Just because it's smaller, it's like more pebbled. When we compare these skins, the black one definitely has thicker grains and this one doesn't, but it doesn't have the veining and all Togo doesn't necessarily have the veining. Um, but as we see this special order without the veining has kept its structure. And you guys know I did, you know, carry it, you know, to do my unboxing video. And as you can see, sitting up with no stuffing, with no wrapping, no bubble wrapping. This one keeps its shape a lot more. This one is definitely more structured. So if you guys are definitely ordering from my essay and my connect, go with this if you want to keep it shape. If you like the slouchiness, cool. But do not get this in a size 25 because a 25 is a definitely more dressier bag. But once your bag starts to slouch and look sloppy and like, you know, old, you know, old and drop, you can't say that that slouchiness is dressy. You definitely want your bag to keep its shape. 25 should be in structured leathers that won't slouch and look so casual. Um, you want it to look, you know, more pristine, crisp. Slouch and, and not slouch. It's kind of like, you know, old ladies, how they say, don't slouch, stand up straight, keep your back up straight. You want your back to be like that too. You want your back to keep its back up straight. Um, So like I said, looking at the singles, you can see this bag has had more wear than all the bags. And the singles are definitely um, stiffer, straighter, and hold themselves together without, without needing to be supported. Um, And the other ones are just more relaxed. So Obviously, lizard is gonna last much longer. Um, lizard is gonna keep its shape. Calfskin leather is heavier than lizard, than croc, and ostrich. In terms of lightness, I would say uh, ostrich is the lightest, lizard is the second, Epson leather is the third. Croc is the fourth. Togo Vershored and all those other leathers are last. Um, and they are the heaviest leathers. So those of you guys that have been placing orders with my sales associate and have been saving all that money, honey, to help you pick out what special orders you want, to help you pick out what items um, best fit your life. I hope this video answers those questions. And if you guys do have further questions, feel free to ask. The next video I will be talking about will be so controversial, honey. But the next video I'm going to come out with is celebrities that own fake items. Allegedly. I took it up and I touched it. Happy is fake. <laughs> it's like fake. Okay. So I brought it to the store and they said that Oh, don't worry, we're going to open up the stitches to see that if it's fake. And I said, it's fake. I just want to show you that I got a fake bag. So for legal purposes, so that nobody comes after me, we're going to say, allegedly. But from my opinion, and when I depict these bags pieces for pieces, and you guys that own these items, use your expert opinion. We'll be able to figure out, we'll be able to come to a conclusion. Um, but I really, one thing that really irritates me as a celebrity wardrobe stylist is people just glorify celebrities and just think celebrities just have their life so much better. Sweetie, celebrities can get murdered, celebrities can get robbed, celebrities can get cheated on, celebrities can go through bankruptcies, celebrity can, you know, get cancer, and celebrities can buy fakes. Like, if y'all think, like, 
this world is like, child, there's so many scams or so many scandals, people trying to be what they're not, people trying to portray things, whatever, that's, that is what it is. But from the people I've hung out with, the bags that I've seen in person, the bags that I've been able to compare and um, justify if they're real or not, um, from my expert opinion, I'll be sharing that with you guys because some people, a lot of these YouTubers act like they know so much, but you guys have never been on red carpets. You guys don't know any celebrities. You guys never been to fashion, you know, houses and actually seen construction of a whole, you know, season, a whole collection. I'm bringing the organic natural tea. These people's giving you fictitious make-believe tea, honey, with preservatives. I'm bringing to you that raw, real, um natural tea so you guys please stay tuned for that video thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye